Gypsy Rose Blanchard is headed to Hollywood. Yeah, just what our society needed. As our world is on the brink of destruction, as chaos breaks out in city streets across America, uh, Americans everywhere need to be soothed by the sweet, sweet sound of Gypsy's voice as she takes over Hollywood, as she becomes a D-list actor on random movies that go straight to Tubi. This is what we needed. I'm on a highway right now. No one can bring me down. I'm in Hollywood. Screw you guys. Oh my freaking God. <laughs> Now, I am hoping and praying that she does not have any gigs lined up. But we know how Hollywood is. Hollywood loves taking advantage of people like Gypsy. Also, Hollywood is creatively bankrupt. So they do weird things to get attention to their movies. So do not be surprised if you see Gypsy's face grace your TV screens unexpectedly soon. Now we know that she is going to Hollywood to promote her new reality show. And she has these delusions of meeting up with all of these celebrities because in Gypsy's mind, she's already like red carpet level, top A-list celebrity in her mind. She thinks that she can walk right into Hollywood and all of these actors and actresses and singers are going to be lined up to meet with her. You know, when she first got out of prison, the first thing that she planned on doing was meeting up and hanging out with Taylor Swift. How delusional is that? But now she has dialed it back a little bit. I guess she realizes that she probably won't be hanging out with Taylor Swift at any Chiefs games anytime soon. So now she has her eyes set on Joey King, the young woman who played her in the act, the movie on Hulu about Gypsy's life. Now, will this woman meet up with Gypsy Rose? I don't know. I think that some celebrities especially the ones who played in movies about Gypsy Rose, I'm sure some of them were open to meeting Gypsy when Gypsy first got out. But now, if I was anyone in Hollywood, I would not touch this woman for with a 10-foot pole, okay? Talk about freaking career destruction. Imagine being around Gypsy Rose. How do you think that will benefit anyone at all? And knowing how desperate Gypsy is for attention, I don't think anyone, anyone in Hollywood especially, should trust being around Gypsy. Because if Gypsy is going to sell photos and rumors of herself to TMZ, what do you think she'll do to you? You know what I mean? Matter of fact, maybe we should turn Gypsy into like a mole. She loves, you know, working alongside TMZ and the tabloids. They should hire her, you know, put her in these little celebrity parties she, so she could walk around and try to blend in, you know what I mean? And then she could sell photos and rumors of all of the celebrities, kind of like how she's selling photos and rumors of herself. But... Is it just me or does it seem like Gypsy Rose is kind of allowed to do just about anything? Now, of course, Gypsy is an adult and adults are allowed to do what they want. But Gypsy is fresh out of prison and still on parole. I can't think of a situation where someone that's only been out of prison for a couple of months and is on parole for killing someone, I can't think of a situation like that where someone's parole officer just allowed them to do basically whatever the hell they wanted. Going all around, you know, America, going here, going there, the plastic surgeries here, the nose job, the teeth there, you know, it, it just, it seems like a whole lot. Usually the point of being on parole is to keep a low profile and Gypsy is doing the exact 
opposite. But the part that disgusted me the most about all of this, well, let me let me rewind that back. Actually, thinking about Gypsy going to Hollywood and, you know, starting to star in TV shows and movies, oh my God. Oh, I, it, <laughs> it's something that is definitely not needed, but it's something that's definitely probably going to happen. You know what I mean? But... I guess the second most disgusting part of this is that you have to understand that she's still going through this divorce with Ryan. And she's literally trying to get spousal support. Gypsy is literally trying to get long-term spousal support. Now, Ryan, Ryan was a special ed teacher. That somewhere along the line, as he, was, as he was with Gypsy, the news about him being with Gypsy caused a disruption within his career, and he basically lost his job. Gypsy is someone who is set to make millions. Millions. Yeah, the documentaries we've seen, you would think that would be enough. The reality show, you would think that would be enough. The book that she already has out there, you would think that would be enough. But no, this woman just got a new book deal. She signed on for more seasons of the reality show. This woman is set to make millions. She's already cheated on Ryan with her ex-fiance. She's already back with her ex-fiance before the divorce has been finalized. She's jet-setting around America going to L.A. for you know, different reasons to possibly star in different movies, TV shows, you name it. Yet she still wants long-term spousal support from Ryan. She doesn't just want to leave Ryan in the past, get the marriage over with and leave it at that. No, she wants Ryan to continue to pay her as she goes around selling photos of her kissing her ex-fiance as she flies out to L.A. to promote her TV show and sign new book deals, she wants Ryan to pay whatever little money he has to her every month. And that is absolutely disgusting. And it shows what type of person she is. She is a cold-hearted, cold-blooded person that is only about herself. She doesn't worry about anyone else. Now... She tries to use, let me lay this out for you. Before Gypsy got out of prison, Gypsy had this little fan base, this following, right? And she made it seem like she was going to get out of jail and she was going to basically be an advocate for people who experienced things like her. She said that she was going to use the money from these book deals and these documentaries to pay back the charities that her and her mother scammed and that she was going to donate a lot of money to various charities to make up for her sins in the past. Well, Gypsy has done none of that at all. And she tried to hide behind the excuse of being on parole as to why she's not able to do as much as she would like to do. But it's becoming even more and more obvious every day that this woman is allowed to do basically anything. Oh, you can't donate no money to charities because you're on parole, right? You can't, you can't possibly do that, but you can go get plastic surgery. Oh, ah, oh, God, I can't do any fundraisers or anything like that because I'm on parole, but I can go to this music festival and cuddle up with my ex-fiance while I'm still married to some other dude. And I can literally take selfies of us making out and sell it to TMZ. I can do all of that, but I can't give a single dollar to the charities that me and my mother conned or any other charities. I can't speak out, uh, you know, about people who are suffering from what I'm suffering from. None of that. I can't do any of that, but I have plenty of time to fly to LA to promote TV shows. I have plenty of time to stage fake paparazzi photos of myself and all of this other nonsense. Meanwhile, I want Ryan to fund this nonsense. Ryan, when you see me out here making out with Ken 
at the music festival, I want you to pay for the tickets. Ryan, when you see me and Ken flying to LA so I could try to be, you know, on a TV show and create these false delusions in my mind that I'm going to meet up with all of these celebrities, I want you to pay the plane tickets. Ryan, I want you to fund my degenerate lifestyle. How low can you stoop? But like I said in one of my past videos, Gypsy Rose is in a game of limbo with herself. How low can you go? Oh, oh, how low can you go? Just trying to go lower and lower and lower and lower. But eventually that pole is going to be on the ground. And you're not going to have anywhere else to stoop. And then you're going to look to other people to pick you up. But hopefully there's no one there to pick you up. Because you got your second chance at life. And you have shown that you don't deserve a third. You had a chance to get out and make something positive of yourself. But instead, this is the route you chose. But for now, let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you would like to donate, you can donate via Cash App or Super Thanks. And with all of that being said, I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.